More solutions for Little Rock's food desert problem. You'll remember back in June, Mayor Frank Scott Jr. announced the city would form a task force to address the challenges. Tonight, we're getting a better look at how leaders are planning to use creative ideas to bring a grocery store to someone's doorstep. THV 11's Frederick Price has more on the group's plans. In their first meeting since officially becoming Little Rock's Food Desert Task Force, June. 10 members met Wednesday to put the city's issues on the table. Years ago, we had three grocery stores on one block. Kimberly Lee lives in southwest Little Rock, an area considered a food desert. To get access to healthy, fresh produce, to have to go to another area not in my neighborhood, that's not always a great thing. Quite familiar with the challenges her community faces, she joined the task force led by Little Rock City Director Kathy Webb. And our overall goal is to make recommendations so we can have an equitable access to food. City board members approved $1 million from the American Rescue Plan to address the problem. Among the several ideas introduced, a delivery option. The old idea that everybody goes to a brick and mortar grocery store that is changing and it's changing rapidly. The group wants to develop an online ordering system. In theory, groceries are delivered to a central location in a food desert neighborhood and people can pick them up. Alternatively, if transportation becomes an issue, someone can deliver them. Webb is relying on the community to support the idea. If you get a really great uh, truck that has several hundred items on it and the community doesn't support it, then we haven't accomplished anything. In their next meeting, Webb says they'll use data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to pinpoint specifically which areas in Little Rock are food deserts. Lee expects the group's efforts to make a difference. There are other models and solutions that we, we will discuss and hopefully the best one will work for the city. In Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Frederick, thank you. The task force plans to meet again on March 1st. And aside from the areas that they'll be targeting, Webb also plans to have information on existing grocery stores and farmer, farmers markets that are available.